what is going on ladies and gentlemen everlast hero here back with another video and i want to say welcome back and in this video we're actually going to be breaking down the dsr 50 stay tuned to start off i just want to say if you guys do enjoy the video and want to see more breakdowns of some more guns some more weapons snipers lmgs uh, some machine guns just click the like button below or and or subscribe now to the dsr 50 first of all the dsr 50 is the highest damage sniper in the game over the xpr 50 ballista and svu it has a 98 percent damage rate which is very very good it most likely always going to be a one shot kill from any range uh it'll most likely always be a two shot kill if you shoot uh their waist down as uh, such as their legs or kneecaps or and or foot it will always be a two shot kill and if you are using a silencer it does not affect the weapon um it may if you are at a very long range a very very long range but since if you're at a medium range it will not affect the gun at all now you guys may be asking how will it perform in a hardcore game mode in a hardcore game mode such as team deathmatch domination whatever game mode in hardcore it will always be a one shot kill even if you shoot their pinky toe, it will always be a sh one shot kill. You shoot their leg, any any part in hardcore game mode, always a one shot kill. You will not be getting any kind of hit markers in hardcore. Now, as you guys can see, this gun is a beast, absolute beast in hardcore. Now, moving on to the rate of fire of the DSR-50. The DSR-50 has a 50 rate of fire, which means it is the slowest shooting sniper in Black Ops 2. With this weapon, you, you need a, with your first shot, you need to hit the shot. You can't afford to miss because if you miss, you'll most likely die unless you are at a... Uh, mo at a big advantage on a head glitch spot but if you are one of those quiz scopers that like to run around quiz scope and don't like to stay back uh, at a head glitch spot uh, the dsr 50 is not a good weapon for running in quiz scoping um, as you like to with the dsr 50 you have to have to uh, chill back at the spawn or at a head glitch spot in order to do very well even pull off a nuclear but uh, if you like to squiz scope and don't really care about your KD this gun is, is um, pretty perfect for, for running around and quiz scoping now for the recoil of the DSR-50, the recoil on the DSR-50 is a vertical recoil, but uh, since it is a bolt action, it doesn't really matter since after the bolts, since after they pull the chamber, uh, it will, the recoil will, will balance out. Now the idle sway on the DSR-50 is very, very controllable. You do not need the ballistic CPU attachment uh, like many other people do. The DSR-50 has an idle sway, very, very controllable. And uh, you don't need to waste an attachment for the ballistic CPU on the DSR-50. Also with the DSR-50, you do not need to hold your breath after each shot you shoot. You can just aim down sight without holding your breath and uh, you'll be good to go. Now there are attachments that increase recoil in the DSR-50. To name some few, uh, the suppressor increases the recoil on the DSR-50 by 10%, the variable zoom increases it by 6%, the ACOG increases it by 5%, and the dual band um, aka thermal sight increases it by 10%. Now, if you, you're a person that likes to run uh, the laser sight as an attachment or the ballistic CPU attachment, um, it is it is great uh, because it does not affect the recoil at all. It doesn't um, harm me or anything. Now, if you're a person that likes to use FMJ, uh, the FMJ uh, is pretty good on the DSR-50, but um, if you guys may think uh, the increases the damage on the DSR-50, it does not. It does not. FMJ has been a myth for a while now that increases damage on any gun, but uh, FMJ only increases uh, the damage through walls, through a surface or a wall. So if you're a person that likes to shoot through walls, shoot through uh, surfaces, uh, FMJ is pretty beast on the DSR-50. Now, hit firing on the DSR-50 is absolutely horrible. You have to avoid hit firing with any sniper, um, including the DSR-50. Do not hit fire. Always aim down sight. Always stay back at a head glitch spot in order to do well. But if you do not care about doing well, well, you can just uh, hit fire and do whatever you want. But overall, uh, hit firing is something you should avoid and uh, always stay back and aim downside. 
Now the time to aim down sight with the DSR-50 is 0.4 seconds and to aim out of sight is 0.4 second also. Now the DSR-50 has a pretty well aimed down sight time um, considering it is a, a very very heavy sniper. Now moving on to the reload time on the DSR-50, the reload time on the DSR is 3.40 seconds. Uh, it is the slowest reloading sniper in Black Ops 2, so um, you should always run a fast mag. Um, I recommend a fast mag over a extended mag just because it is faster to aim down sight. You get five more uh, shots um, and you don't just get two more shots with the extended mags. Now if you're looking to use a magazine attachment, I really recommend the fast mag over the extended mag just because it is uh, a way faster to reload and the, with the extended mags you only get two more bullets so uh, it, re it isn't really a good attachment to use. The DSR-50 is one of, of the best snipers in Black Ops 2 in my opinion just because it does not get any hit markers. The only time it gets any hit markers is below the waist and in my opinion that is very very uh, well sniper. Uh, un uh, unlike the Ballista which you get a hit marker almost every time unless you shoot them the chest and up uh, around the head or the chest. Now if I were to run a DSR in a class of mine, I would run it without attachments if I really wanted some, some extra perks because the DSR-50 is a tank of a sniper uh, without attachments. Um, you don't really need any attachments unless you want a magazine attachment, but that is your opinion and your choice. But in my opinion, uh, the DSR-50 is a very, very good sniper without any attachments. So that means you can use your wall cards on extra perks. Uh, so you can have like a lightweight and a flak jacket. I don't recommend hardline with the sniper. And um, you can use scavenger and toughness. Those two perks I recommend. And for the third perk, I recommend the dexterity or tactical mask. Now I recommend the tactical mask just because if you are in a sniper spot or head glitch spot right in the back of the map or in a, um, a spot they can uh, just sh straight up shoot you, uh, they'll most likely always throw a tactical grenade such as a concussion or a flashbang and uh, with tactical mask you can avoid that and um, always be, be alert and uh, ready to kill with the sniper. I would also recommend extreme conditioning only if you are a quiz scoper and like running around the map just quiz scoping um, enemies and uh, just like running around extreme conditioning is a perk for your class but uh, this has been the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a like and uh, if you want to see some more uh, awesome videos like this just subscribe and I'll see you in my next video um, that's been all so peace. See the past through a flashback Back to the days when I didn't have rap But nowadays, bitch, I'm all about that Back to the days when they didn't call me abstract No dreams or shit to do Just to get open that his skies will blow Wishing I could live in a flashback But I'm on a mission now, so I'm about that